Welcome back to the Wake Man channel. Today is going to be the second episode of my Young Child Water Sports series where I just let you follow along while I introduce my two and a half year old to water sports. If you haven't watched the first video in this series, I'll go ahead and put a link right above me so you can get to that video. But this video will include the next steps after the first video of us introducing our toddler to water sports. And I think a very good point to bring up in this video, which you'll see us performing in some of the clips, and you probably already saw us performing this in our first episode, is the fact that I think it's important that you uh, don't push your child too far um, and don't scare them. Try to make it seem fun and not scary. So at any point, if they uh, seem like they're scared, maybe just step back um, and try it again another time. I've definitely been asking my daughter many times this year if she wants to get out on the board or do something out in the water. Um, and there's been many times where she straight says no. But now she's starting to do a few things, so we're gonna sh I'm gonna share that with you. Uh, but to start out with, I'm gonna go ahead and share a few clips from this last weekend. I'm getting really close to getting a uh, grab on my surf alley-oops. So I'll go ahead and jump into those clips now. All right, so check out this absolute butter right here. I mean, it is dead calm out. Uh, unfortunately, the water cooled down some more. So yesterday it said 73, and I got in without a wetsuit, and it was it was a bit chilly, um, but I, it was doable. But today, I think I'm gonna do a wetsuit, even though I'd rather not. I'm gonna do a wetsuit for wakeboarding. I'll probably surf a little later without a wetsuit because it should be be warmed up by then um, it was super windy here yesterday afternoon um, so i think that usually turns over the water and makes it cold um, yeah i'm pumped i mean look at that i mean that is that is as glassy as it gets right there um just looking amazing out there yesterday was a little weird because it was windy at first so i barely got a little set in then i went and surfed so what was really cool yesterday is that wakely over here she said she wanted to go on the board with daddy and, and I took, I jumped on that opportunity and we immediately went out and surfed and it was a blast. She was having a great time. Um, she was talking to me the whole time and excited and waving to mommy and it was a pretty good time. So I'm, I think I'm slowly stepping her in to uh, get more comfortable with it. Um, the one thing that sucked is at the end of that, um, we did fall and she went underwater with me for a second. And I don't think she liked that too much like any kid wouldn't. So. Um, not sure if we'll be able to do more this year or not, but I'm definitely gonna try. But then it got calm again, and I went wakeboarding some more, but by then my knees were kinda already wore out. So I'm really hoping I have a good set today. But anyways, Carly's coming down to the dock right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick her up and we're gonna get out there. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get into the clips of Wakely. So first of all, I'll start off by showing you a clip of Wakely and I surfing. Like I said in the previous clips, um, I was pretty pumped because she started saying she wanted to get on the board with me and I immediately jumped on the opportunity and got her out on the surfboard. And once we got in the water, she seemed like she was a little timid, but uh, then we got up on the surfboard and she was having a blast. She was talking to me the whole time. Um, she was waving at her mom and she was also blowing her mom kisses and just laughing and having a good time. At the end of the set, uh, there was we were going over some rollers and I did end up going down and I uh, went down and took her with me and, and, and we both went under the water for a second. And when I came up, I thought she'd be crying, but she wasn't. So I was pretty happy to see that how, how well that went. But I will tell you that there's been a few times that I've offered for her to come surf 
with me again since and she has said no so i think she did get a little scared at the end but that next day uh we started trying to get her on the surfboard um and and just kind of getting her familiar with being on the surfboard again um and you can see that it start i started out by um just kind of sitting on the surfboard and it's on the platform and she was a little bit scared of that um and she even uh kind of started crying at one point and i let her just get off of it right away it's okay oh, i just i was just moving okay it's okay it's okay if we get you out on the water it'll be nice and level okay But then Carly and I switched roles, um, and I, dro I drove the boat, and uh, she uh, tried that with Wakely. But then we decided, hey, let's try something else. Um, let's just get her familiar with uh, kind of being on the board at a low speed. So Carly went ahead and got on the board and grabbed the surf rope, and Good then throw. I put Wakely on her back. Um, and then I just towed them around at like two and a half miles per hour for a little while. And uh, Wakely was having a blast. Um, in fact, it was uh, Carly that wanted to quit because she started getting tired. Um, but that was that was a good little trick to get uh, Wakely used to being on the board um, and, and, uh, and help her understand the fun parts about water sports. And so then, uh, to our surprise, we got her to do even more. So Carly actually got her to lay on the wake surfboard, and then she was able to hold the nose of it, and she was on the board by herself. And again, I just drove the boat around about two, two and a half miles per hour, basically the slowest speed it can go. Um, and uh, you could see that she was having fun and getting used to it. Um, so I think that she very successfully conquered the next step or the second sort of step. And I wouldn't necessarily call it the second step, but just some, she knocked some more steps off the list um, of just getting comfortable with being in the water, being on a board, um, and just start, starting to realize the fun of water sports. I will say that that might be the extent of how far we see uh, Wakely go with water sports this year, um, but we we will try to work with her some more. I think probably the most that I could hope for this year um, with a two and a half year old is maybe um, she'll she'll feel comfortable enough just to hold on to the handle and then uh, Carly or I let go of the board and, and we still hold on to the rope uh, just like a foot or two behind the boat and we're still going really slow um, but she's holding on to the rope herself. So if we get to that level or anything beyond that level, um, I'll be super excited. As of right now and as of the 2021 season, I think we've done pretty well on introducing our toddler to water sports. All right, so we finished up on the lake today. Now we're just back at the camper, uh, sticking our feet in the water while Wakely's playing in the pool here. I was pretty happy that Wakely wanted to do so much uh, in the water this weekend. Um, I think she's progressing along pretty nicely for a two and a half year old. Just the fact that I was able to get her out on the surfboard with me again, and then we were able to start getting her comfortable sitting on the surfboard by herself while the boat's going. Um, I think that was a pretty good step forward. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any thoughts on this video or ideas for future videos, please leave them in the comments below. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit that notifications bell so you can be notified of my future videos. I'll see you next week.